Putin and China just did the unthinkable, and the West is in big trouble. You have to ask yourself, are Russia and China serious about this? The answer is yes. The alliance between Russia and China is awesome. <laughs> I mean awesome in a dramatic shift of the entire world economic order kind of way. What happened this week is absolutely groundbreaking and was probably the biggest story of the last 30 years, but it hardly got any news coverage at all. Does that surprise any of you? Seriously, one of the most important stories of our lifetime happened this week, and almost no one covered it. So what happened? While the United States was busy focused on January 6th hearings and whether or not Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was wearing fake handcuffs during her arrest last week, Russia joined forces with China to create their own new reserve currency. Officially. Yes, it's happening, guys. Just let that sink in for a moment. Let that wash over you. Let me explain what this means. This means that the new reserve currency won't be the U.S. dollar, for one thing, which is earth-shattering, right? But it's also earth-shattering for another few reasons. This new currency will be based on rare earth minerals, guys. Now, I've been saying this for a while, and that's why I'm personally investing in them, okay? Russia and China are moving their currency to gold, silver, uranium, nickel, copper, real tangible things, guys. This means that Russia and China are tying their country's fortunes to minerals that they bring out of the ground and then sell to the rest of the world. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 59. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Shalom al-Makim. Akim wa agwa. Before I get started, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechachadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone of Ruel, who taught me this truth. No respect and salutations to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the hopefully elect. This is your brother Yahweh Sab coming to you from the Birmingham branch with this another, another lesson. All right. And as you've seen in this video, all right, um, Russia and China is gathering these uh, precious minerals. They're tying their fortune uh, to minerals that comes out of the earth, All right, which is very ironic because uh, Esau, you know, over here in the West, the Americas, Babylon the Great, he would put sanctions on everything except uranium. All right, and uranium gives you that opportunity to produce nuclear power, which 50% comes from Russia. All right. I'm not an expert in these things. All right. Facts are facts. Our resources can be backed up. And with that, we're going to get into this lesson. All right. And Lord willing, I'll drop that video in the, um, in the description box so you can give the full feel of it. Now, this was a question. Why do, you want, uh, why do we not possess an inheritance? All right. And we go up to verse 9. It tells us what? Um, let's go to eight first. It says, and he said unto me, for Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. And this is what process we're in now. This is the part of the body that we're in that Daniel spoke of from the stat, uh, speaking of the statue. All right. We're at the feet that are mixed with clay and iron. All right. Why? For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And this is what we hasten. This is what we are hasten for Yahweh Shai to return and put this devil on his head. They are going to build up the kingdom. Why do you think they are gathering all these precious minerals, these tangible things all right, that are up out of the earth? Why do you think they're doing that? It's for the elect, man. Simple, sad, and put. We're going to get us a few, pre few more precepts and continue to prove this point. Let's go to the book of Job. Chapter 20, and this is verse 18. And it reads, That which he labeled for shall he restore. That la labor is a work. Right, Russia and China, not only those uh, nations, but the uh, conjunct nations as well as the BRICS. Nations are Brazil, Russia, China, India, South uh, Africa. Okay? They're moving hard to uh, a, a, a currency that is digital. That brings on the death of the dollar. All right? The D, 
dollarize, dollarize, if that's a word, to de-dollarizate, you know, of uh, what you know is fiat currency, all right, the dollar-dollar bill, y'all, right? So he's going to restore that which he labored for, continuing on, and shall not swallow it down. The gold, the silver, the copper, the uranium, right? It says, according to his substance, shall the restitution be, and he shall not rejoice therein. And these are our reparations, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? We have a possession. We have an inheritance of the world. All right. But it's not that time. It's going to be time when Yahweh Shah returns and gives us the kingdom. As he says in uh, the book of Daniel, the, uh, the elect shall take the kingdom. Right. OK. And possess it forever and forever. You see what I'm saying? Let's go somewhere real quick because these people continue to dig. They continue to, uh, you know. What's that uh, the word I'm looking for? They continue to think that they're uh, going to continue as, as, as they got schedules, which is, which is very vexing to hear someone say it's about 2060 or 2080 or 2100. This is what you think. You, let's read the scripture, Psalms 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. And this is their inward thought. And this is why you have schedules up until 2100, uh, 2099. We should curve uh, a certain, you know, plague by the year 2030. You know, who wants to continue to be oppressed in, in slavery? You know, you, you should be asking questions. When, hey, Lord, will you now restore the kingdom? And this is what type of spirit you should be in. Okay. It says, and their dwelling places to all generations they call their lands after their own name. We're, we're here in Jefferson County, Birmingham, Alabama. All right. Was, was this state called that before they showed up, before the disease showed up? Was it called Birmingham? Was it called uh, Jefferson County? You see, this is what you got to ask yourself. But then we thought with all this digging, with all this, uh, 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 you know, chaos going on they're in the frenzy trying to reset their their system and to continue their oppression of the israelites simple said and put but you have an expiration date devil okay and you're going to end up building up the kingdom all right and and, and we're not going to make any account for your labors matter of fact as, as, as the scripture tells us let's go to it hey we're going to just do away with you anyway man the book of Obadiah, let's start at, um, this is 15, Obadiah 15. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. <laughs> you know, it's going to return on your own pate, man. See, the Lord is about to recompense, okay? You're about to restore, uh, you're about to give back that which you have swallowed down, you're going to vomit it up, man. You see? Let's read 16. For as ye have drunk upon mine holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. What are you going to swallow down? That cup, all right, in the Lord's right hand, man. And you're going to get a double portion. You see? For Esau, Edom... He's going to get his ass whipped. He's going to get his ass handed to, first and foremost. And after that, he's going to get arrested and read his rights. <laughs> Simple said and put, man. Let's continue on. It says, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. So that's a separation there, right? And there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall Possess their possessions. What are they gathering up silver and gold for? What are they gathering these precious minerals for? To continue, all right, forever. Which again, they have a cutoff date. They have an expiration date. All right? And we're headed there fast, quick, and in a hurry. Isaiah 14 and 1, for the Lord 
will have mercy on Jacob, a separation, all right? And will yet choose Israel, beautiful, and set them in their own land. And the strangers, who are these strangers, man? These heathen nations, okay? Shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel po uh, shall possess them and the land of the Lord for servants and handmaidens. That sounds like slavery to me. We can go to uh, Revelation uh, uh, 13 and 10. Okay. It, it gives us uh, plain and simple instructions. It gives us prophecy. All right. Which we're tuned into. You see? <clears throat> it says, And they shall take them captives. What? Whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Yeah, the ones that have beat and brutalized and raked and ravished and um, anything, uh, experiment. You know, they're still experimenting um, without... You know, brothers and sisters out there, man. You Israelite men and women and children. Okay? These certain trials, <laughs> they do. Hey, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, man. You see? He's, he's going to break into play. And you are going to be building up the kingdom. You are going to be laboring for free. You are going to be ruled over with a rod of iron. That's a psychological effect. All right. Just just as all right, we still have uh symptoms of 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 post slavery, man. You know? Go to the book of uh the book of Tobit. You know, we don't go in Tobit as much, all right? Uh it, it packs a punch, man. Okay? But when we do, we bring out, you know, the precepts according to the scriptures, according, according, uh, according to the uh, spirit, man. The book of Tobit, chapter 13 and verse 11. It says, many nations shall come from far to the name of the Lord power with what? Gifts in their hands, man. They're going to be contributaries, man, to the throne, to King David. All right? To Yahweh Shai, to King David, to the, to the elect, man. You know? It says, even gifts... To the king of heaven, you see that? All generations shall praise thee with a great joy. All right, why? Because the earth is going to be ruled in righteousness, man. All right? When the righteous, what? Are in authority, the people, what? Rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, you know, you see mourning, you see lamentations, you see woes. Why? Because the earth is under uh, a veil that is not true. Being ruled by a wicked uh, nation, man. All right. Let's go to 12. It says, Curse all, uh, so like it, cursed are all they which hate thee, and blessed shall all be which love thee forever. And that's righteous, man. Let's go somewhere real quick just to back that point up. All right. We read in 11, that uh, 11 first, uh, Jeremiah. Um, might be Isaiah. <clears throat> yeah, Isaiah 60 and 14. It says, The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. The Zion of the Holy One of Israel. You see that? This is what's going to take place. This is future prophecy. And any of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are not in the spirit to hold those captives that held you captive. You're not in the right spirit. All right? You, you're, you're somewhat, if not all the way, joined unto Esau, Edom. You're joined unto the enemy, the oppressor. Therefore, you will get thrust through as well, man. Hey, the Lord is, is making no mistakes. Okay, so let's go back to the book of Tobit. All right? And let's jump to verse 16. 
Beautiful. It says, for Jerusalem shall be built up with the sapphires and emeralds and precious stones. Thy walls and towers of battlements with what? Pure gold. Why you think they're digging up all the <laughs> minerals, extracting up all the minerals? That's, that's what Esau does, man. Okay? Now, over here in the West, Babylon the Great, they don't like to dig in their own backyard. Okay? They like to put, again, put sanctions on nations, all right, for what they want. You know? And all of them in, in cahoots with each other, man. All right? All of them, uh, little to be known of them with the BRICS nation and the NATO and the EU. Yeah, they're at each other. All of these nations are going to simply turn on America, man. All right? So let's go um, continue on. It says, And the streets of Jerusalem shall be paved with barrel and, and carbuncle and stones of Ophir. Uh, Ophir. Okay? Gold. Yeah, the street's going to be paved with gold. But this is going to be what? The kingdom of heaven. All right? On earth as it is in heaven. You see that? It's a play on words, not something that you go to a place and like, oh, this is it. No, the Lord said he's going to set this up here on earth as it is in heaven. You see that? Let's go to uh, Isaiah 30 real quick. Isaiah 30, just to continue to back that up. All right, 30 and 16. All right, it says, but <clears throat> to like you. Yeah. Might be. Jeremiah 30. Yeah. Jeremiah 30 and 16. It says, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. We was ate up, man. We were swallowed, swallowed up and chewed up. We were spit out. Okay? These people regarded us as nothing. See? So our only cry, our only complaint is to the Lord, man. It's not to these nations. You people are locked elbows. You people protest. You people voted. Nothing will change. Nothing will get the kingdom here fast enough, man. You continue to on this on this this retarded ass, you know, streak of protesting and voting. That's that's something that a retard would do, man. Uh, someone with Down syndrome would continue to do that, thinking things are gonna change. You know. It says. <clears throat> And all thine adversaries, every one of them, each and every one. Yep, your boss. Yep, your boss children. Okay, if, they, if they're of the heathen nations, you know, they of the wicked. Yeah. <laughs> every one of them shall what? Go into captivity. And they shall spoil thee. Uh, they that spoil thee shall be spoiled. And all, they, all, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. You know? And there are snares and traps and pitfalls in America, man. This is the valley of the shadow of death, man. Okay? They got pitfalls. They got laws set up for us to fall thereby. What, what do you think going to happen? We already have the laws. We already have the commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahweh And they've already transgressed. You see that? So they're going to get, all right? They're going to get the issue, man. So let's end this off back in the book of Tobit, 14 and 15. And it tells you what? Uh, so like fourteen and five. So like and and that again. All right, the Most High will have mercy on them, the elect. Okay, and bring them again into the land, where they shall build a temple, but not like to the first, until the time of that age be fulfilled, and afterward they shall return from all places of their captivity, and build up Jerusalem gloriously. All right? Gloriously. And the house of the Most High shall be built in it forever with a glorious building. We just read in the in, uh, book of Tobit, chapter 13, what, what type of minerals we're going to be using, these elements we're going to be using. Right? <laughs> it says, as what the prophets have spoken thereof. And, and hey, if you, you, you're speaking that the kingdom of heaven is not... Hey, man, you're in the right spirit, man. All right? Prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. All right? Uh, with that, Lord willing, this is edifying and confident on to the next one. Shalom.